It's a matchup you're going to love. Right here on 2K Sports, it's the USA facing Team World. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Looking at the starting five for USA. Williamson out there with Bridges. And there's Jackson. Then it's Morant. And it's Young in at the one spot. Gilgis Alexander. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Now here's Morant. Gilgis Alexander covering. Poked away. It's stolen by Barrett. And here's the fast break. Barrett leading the way. Pass to Hachimura. Good on the shot. You brought the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. Here's Clark following the basket by Trey Young. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Here's Doncic. And he makes good on the layup. And we haven't seen very much of him in the regular season yet. But there's no question he's got a very bright future ahead of him. I agree with all of that. Even with limited playing time, his talent has been evident. And that talent is strong enough to have earned him a spot in this game. And that says a lot considering he doesn't play a bunch for his team. Well, I think as is always the case, the story of the game tonight won't have a lot to do with defense. That's the way it always is. I mean, a half-court alley-oop or a spectacular behind-the-back pass, that's exactly what the people want to see in this game. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. And guys, what they say they like about Jaron Jackson is how good he is with either hand. I mean, he goes left or right, can pull up going left or right effectively. Very crafty with how he finishes plays and has great activity with how he plays. I mean, he could end up being a fantastic big man. The first one falls. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. So he hits one of two from the strike. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Here's Young after Luka Doncic's bucket. Young outside. Fires from deep. Rebound by Team World. Gilgis Alexander finds Doncic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That is his first foul of the game. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Pass to Doncic. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. That's seven points for Luka Doncic. Here's Young. It's an eight-point differential. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin, thanks. I had a chance to talk with the head coach for Team World. He talked about his philosophy working with young players like will be in the game tonight. He said they have all the energy in the world. I'm just here to help them channel it in the right directions. The nice thing about this event is that it lets them know where they stand and what they need to improve upon. Guys? Thank you, David. Boy, showing you some power there, fellas. I mean, nice to see Doncic get up and drop it in with force that time. Here's Young. Banked in off the glass. 
Young's got six points. I know we never see a lot of defense in these games, but tonight we're not seeing any. Simply call it a free-for-all. I mean, you want the guys to have fun out there, but it would be nice to see some effort put into the defensive end of the floor. Not much in the way of defense being played here early on. Well, you know how it works. I mean, both teams will be conserving their energy at the defensive end until later on. That's typically how this thing unfolds. Team World leading by eight. Hachimura the pass to Clark. And it's Clark with the jam. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now, here's Bridges. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. I, I love the fact that Bridges does a little bit of everything, including passing the ball. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Donjic outside. And the dunk by Donjic. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. And, you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. Now, here is Young. He's got six. That one good for two. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Doncic. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. So timeout called here, the first for USA. And this is the second appearance in the Rising Stars game for 6'6", Shea Gilgis Alexander. The 11th pick back in 2018, he's made an immediate impact. Another in this wave of Canadian NBA players. Akogi's checked in for Team World. Here's Young. And he lays it straight in. Young's got 10 points. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And, Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. So it's USA now. Following the bucket by Team World. Clock at four. Here's Morant. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Team World leading by 11. Hachimura the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Hachimura. Gilgis Alexander with it. Here's Doncic. And the rejection by Jackson. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And USA making a change here. USA trails by 11. Here's none. He kicks to Sexton. Now the pass to Graham. Shoots the three. Rebound by Team World. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Wagner. Six to shoot. Team World needs to get off a shot. Shoots a fader. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Yeah, they're scoring with confidence, Greg, making them count in the early going here. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Mikhailu. Doncic outside. And finished off by Doncic. And these fans are getting treated to just some amazing aerial action in this game. And that's the way it should be, right? I mean, it's all-star week. You don't lay it in. You punch it in. Sexton's shot is good. 
Good to see Sexton knock it down from deep. A shot he needs to add to his arsenal. Here's McKaylor. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Donchich outside. Through the net again. He's done that 10 times tonight. And he's only needed 11 shots to get there. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Graham. Pass to Washington. Here's none. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 22. Melly passes to Doncic. Teardrop shot, and the layup is good. Doncic has got 24 points. And he's been a gem this year. I mean, there have been so many highlights for him all over the first half of this season. And I've got a feeling, Greg, he's just getting warmed up. I think he'll be even better after the All-Star break. Here's Mikhailu. Bucket is good. And it's an 11-point team world lead. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And, you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Pass to Graham. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And a nice touch on the finish. Now, here's Doncic. Graham defending. Doncic outside. And the dunk by Doncic. Well, the main weapon in Doncic's attack, he really excels at finding lanes and then taking advantage of them. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Team World out in front, up by 11. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. It's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. On the court for USA. They've got Sexton. And it's none in at the two-guard spot. Yeah, a little light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. Here's Graham after Luka Doncic's bucket. Here's the floater. None, that's good. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Team World. Passes it to a Kogi. Throws it up high. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Now, here's Sexton. He's covered closely. To the middle, here's Washington. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Here's Graham, following the bucket by Team World. An emphatic LU jam. 
and maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that yeah well you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench they are pumped up and that's what those alley-oops will do for a team ignition switch ignited and rarely do you see a player like Doncic come in so polished guys at this age I mean, Doncic already looks like a 10-year vet. Very precise with every movement and decision he makes on the wing. Just a great knack for passing, plus that vision. And now the first time out called here for Team World. And the 6-2 combo guard out of Alabama, Colin Sexton, now in his second year. You know, the young bull plays with tremendous hunger and passion. Exhibition or not, he's coming. Now, here's Barrett. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Clark. Six on the shot clock. Knocked away. Bridges with the steal. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Just rising up with purpose. Allow Bridges to get this kind of positioning. He is going to hammer it home. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. The pass to Barrett. Here's Mikhailuk. Shoots over Morant. Green for two points. Mikhailuk's got his second bucket of the night. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And USA making a change here. Young's checked in. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Gilgis Alexander passes to Mikhailu. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists now in the game. Now here's Morant. Pass to Young for the three. It's Clark with the rebound. Out left of the wing. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Again, team world good for two. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Basket good. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. That one goes in. Clark's got the lead up to 12 now for Team World. Looking nimble on the drive there. Once Clark sees an opening in the defense, he's looking to exploit. Now Bridges. Young outside. Down to five on the shot clock. USA needs to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. And Jackson throws it down hard. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. good from Jackson and it's team world with the ball they've held a 12-point lead early Gilgis Alexander kicks to Barrett Clark the pass to Gilgis Alexander pass to Mikhailu takes the three and a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in Gilgis Alexander's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one Now, here is Young. He'll just Alexander cover it. Morant with it. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Out to the wing. Get there, get there. Bridges kicks to Young. Shot clock at six. Outside Jackson. From deep. A beast defensively. Clark's reach and high motor is what makes him effective at blocking shots. 
Jackson comes over with the double. Here's Mikhailuk. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Mikhailuk's got 12 points in the game. A monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. And Young kicks to Morant. Good on the three-point shot. Well, this is where we talk about Morant's versatility. He, he can work off the ball because he's worked so hard on that jumper. Now, here's Barrett. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Hachimura. Buries it down low. And Team World leads by 13. You have to push Hachimura out of there if you're the defense. He's a real problem on the interior. Young passes to Williamson. There's the lob to Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignited. Well, that's not been a typical possession for them in this first half. You know, for the most part, they've been pretty smart with the ball. It's Young on the wing. Gilgis Alexander covering. Got a hand on it. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Team World. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They also haven't been afraid to take it strong to the hoop early on tonight. I like that. And Greg, tonight, what's a scarier sight than watching Zion Williamson come at you in the open court? Yeah, going 280, incredible speed and agility. This is the type of pace and space game that tends to showcase guys like Williams. This is it to Gilgis Alexander. On left side. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. And that's now 30 points for Luka Doncic. Young passes to Jackson. Down low. Count that one. A teammate to teammate on the assist that time. Well, the communication between them, that's what we see every game during the regular season, and it's on display here in the All-Star Week as well. Here's Hachimura. And he uses the glass on the way. Hachimura's got six points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. The USA calls time here. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. USA trails by 10. Play tight. Come on. The pass to Jackson. Here's Pascal. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Stolen. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. And Team World another three. Well, he's certainly seen his share of the ball tonight. I would say maybe more than his fair share. I mean, he's not going to make too many friends out there if he's not willing to spread that sugar a little bit. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. 
And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. So it's USA now, following the bucket by Team World, and here's the fast break. Barrett leading the way, and he gets it to go. And Team World leads by 17. Doncic using quick active hands. The fast break started beautifully because of it. Kicks it to Sexton. To halt the run. And Sexton slams it in. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Now, here's Barrett. Let's a floater go. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Team World shooting their first foul shot of the night. And USA making a change here. Graham's checked in. One shot. And that one falls for Barrett. Born in Toronto, Barrett joins a talented group of Canadians who have entered the NBA ranks. Now, here's Sexton. He has five. To the left wing. Here's Nunn. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Nunn's got four points this quarter. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up and finds the open man. And so it's Team World with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. We've got more in store for you right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Luka Doncic has been the story in this one. He ended up with 33 points, three assists, and one steal. Coming in on the heels of a whopping performance in their last game, he's had no let-up in that fire here tonight. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Well, it has been an electric performance. These guys were firing on all cylinders. They came out aggressive going after those rebounds, and they were piling it up. I think they wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they're going to be nearly impossible to stop if they're playing that way. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, they gave up too many good looks. Look at the field goal percentage against them. This tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively, not enough disruption, Ernie. Like, Kenny disrupts me all the time, not enough disruption. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoying playing together and against each other. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play, and they are putting on a show. We've got Gilgis Alexander, Hachimura out there with Clark. Then it's Barrett, and it's Doncic in at the point. And for USA, we've got Williamson. Morant is out there with Trey Young. Then it's Jaron Jackson, and it's Bridges in at the three slot. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Following the basket by John Morant. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So, Team World's five right now. We've got Luka Doncic, 
Clark is out there with Hachimura. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Barrett at the small forward. Here's Young. Following the bucket by Team World. Pushing it up. And the dunk by Doncic. Boy, Luka Doncic, such an all-around skill set. I mean, the defense having a real hard time containing him tonight. USA moving the ball around. Jackson finds Young. It's tipped. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And here's Barrett. He has five. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Barrett's got seven points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Uh, because he's so shifty and controls the pace, Moran can kill you in that mid range area. Barrett, wide open, he fires. And Team World, another three. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. I got to help, help. Pass to Morant. Launches it. That shot off. And Team World will come the other way. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. So it's USA now. Following the bucket by Team World. Young with no one around. Kept alive. Jackson fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. For USA, they've been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. One shot. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded closely. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. On defense, USA. They double him with Williamson. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And it's Team World with the ball. Hachimura the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And here is Doncic. Clock at six. From deep three-point range, no good. So USA will take it the other way. Well, we know just how exciting Trey Young can be as a player from his college days at Oklahoma. He can, he can just take over games. We saw it many times last year. I mean, just incredible range and is not afraid to pull up from anywhere. The, the type of lead guard that can have an entire offense run through and around him. Much like another former Sooner in Heald, he gets compared to Curry in the way he plays and can take over with his shot. And that one's good, Williamson. And Williamson, such a unique prospect from a physical standpoint, can get anything he wants in that paint. Doncic with it, and Young picks him up defensively. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. For three... It's good again in an excellent seventh for eight shooting night so far. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Now here's Morant. He'll just Alexander cover. And that one's good, Morant. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Here's Hachimura. He's got eight. Now, Doncic, they double him with Williamson, and Clark slams it in. Tell you what, for a young player, Doncic has already shown tremendous skill and feel for the game. Beautiful floor awareness there. Now, here is Young. 
10 points for him. Trains the three-pointer. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Hachimura. Donchich outside. And there's the pass to Hachimura. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Team World, another three. And that's getting it done from deep. That's what the All-Star game gives you, the freedom time out, time to out. show your full range. You know, taking that shot in a regular Sorry. season game might get you a spot on the bench, but here it gets you a standing O. The USA calls time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And it's a completely new group for USA. Here's Washington. He has six. Pass to Graham. Snatched away. And it's out of bounds. Team World will retain possession. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Pass to Pascal. The 15-footer. Good. Pascal's got his first points of the night. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Melly passes to Mikhailu. Here's Wagner. Drains it from beyond the arc. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Pass to Pascal. Here's none. USA moving the ball around. Sexton with it. Five points in the game. Got a piece of it. But they'll get another chance. And it's Graham missing. Here's Mikhailu. No good on the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And he comes up with the deuce. Washington's got eight. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Here's a Kogi. Donchich outside. Here's Wagner. Graham with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And it all had to be, Kevin, because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Now, here's Sexton. Shot from 12. Again, USA. A dangerous score from mid-range. Sexton loves to take that shot when he gets it in rhythm. There's the pass to Melly. Here's Wagner, defended by Sexton. Hey, hey, right here. 143 left to play in the third. Just five to shoot. Wagner passes to Mikhailu. A Kogi inside the three-point line. That's good on the jump shot. Akogi's got his third bucket of the night. Here's none. He's got six. Pass to Washington. 
He kicks it to Graham. From deep. That one, no good. And Team World will come the other way. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. And we'll see if that's the answer. He can't seem to find the range here in the second. He did a great job in the first, hitting three from outside. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass goal, the pass to Graham. Shoots it. And Wagner pulls it down. Team World leading by 22. Pass to Okogi. Kogi's got eight points. And so it's Team World finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back to the action after this word. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Welcome back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. On the court for USA, they've got Washington, and it's Sexton in at the three spot. Here's a Kogi. Rips down the breakaway slam. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. None can't get it to fall. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Is on Colin Sexton. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Team World. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside Good and converting shot. around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. First one falls for them. So both teams making some changes here. He hits both from the strike. Here's none. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Up high to stuff the alley -oop. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Here's Alexander Walker. The tray. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Mikhailuk's got four points now in the quarter. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. None passes to Pascal. The three cans it from downtown. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Passes it to Hachimura. Here's Mikhailu. Here's Clark. Count that bucket. And sort of a, a revelation this season. He's quickly established himself as one of the league's top young players. 
And that's always impressive to see because there were a lot of people who had their doubts about him. But he seems to thrive on proving those people wrong, and he's off to a good start. Here's Sexton following the bucket by Team World. And he just elevates and powers in the one-handed. Mm -hmm. Textbook. I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much there. Alexander Walker passes to Hachimura. And the pass to Okogi. High arcing shot, and the layup is up and in. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Okogi's gone six or seven from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pass goal, the pass to Sexton. Over Clark. Here's Pascal. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Kevin and Greg, hard work on the offensive glass always does that. I mean, his fans will remember the dunk, but the coaches love the rebound. And the instincts there from Hachimura notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. And finished off by Williamson. And I'd have to say the decibel level just rose about 300% in here. Certainly sounds like it. I mean, there's nothing these fans love to see more than highlight reel dunks, and that one certainly qualifies. Here's Hachimura, and there it is for him. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Alexander Walker passes to Okogi. Off target from three-point range. Now USA with it. There's the lob to the hoop. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. And, and really an underrated playmaker. Williamson with good court vision and solid decision-making. And Team World calls time here. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Zakogi. Pass to Hachimura. Now here's Barrett. It's tipped and stolen by Williamson. Inside. And the dunk by Williamson. And what you love about Williamson, he's not just magnetic and entertaining, he's extremely productive. Here's a Kogi. Gilgis Alexander passes to Clark. It's good. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Feeds to Morant. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his seventh assist here tonight. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assist. They're playing as one unit out there. And that one's good by Clark. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. And here's Morant. Young outside. Another three for USA. 
And as they're trailing in this game, they're trying to stay in it with the triple. They're shooting a lot more of them than they did in the first half. Here's Clark. Pass to Okogi. Here's Barrett. It's blocked. He has the length to send shots back. I like seeing Bridges make his presence felt on this end. That one drops for him. And that's 15 points for Trey Young. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. Here's Okogi, defended by Young. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Shot clock at five. Releases. They get it back. Okogi, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Morant passes to Bridges. A steal. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 20 points. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead, and as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Shots good from Young. The most lethal part of Young's game. His outside shot is often on the money. And Team World calls time here. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Luka Doncic. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Defense USA. Gilgis Alexander with it. Morant with the steal. Here's Williamson. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. And what confidence from the big fella. Williamson runs the floor like a deer. And, and that assertiveness to attack. Love it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Doncic to the inside and that one's good Hachimura Hachimura's got four points in the quarter late in the game up big they continue to attack I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit here's Bridges the pass to Williamson five on the clock back to Bridges this one for three and the dunk by Williamson Second chance opportunities. Williamson explosive into the air with the touch and concentration to finish. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And Barrett slams it in. You have to be aware of Barrett. He's solid at recognizing when it's time to go for the alley-oop. Young dishes to Williamson. There's the lob to Jackson. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but... 
do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Jackson comes over with the double. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Clark. Offline with his three. So it's USA now. They trail by 18. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. How about the balance and focus? Knock bridges around all you want, but he is determined to score. And in his second year out of Michigan State, Miles Bridges can certainly elevate. He can rock the rim with the best of them. Perhaps looking for a redemption from last year's dunk contest. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Here's Doncic. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Come on. Pass to Okogi. Shoot it. Back to Doncic. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Doncic has got 37. Well, you look at Doncic, so confident, even from this area, he knows he can make it happen. Young outside, beyond the arc. The offensive rebound. So no problem for Team World as they get the win. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. You're right, Greg. And this really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.